Hello fellow USOL teammates. I'm here to give you the safety briefing on the 2017 solar eclipse. So as you all know, on August 21st, this coming Monday, the United States will experience a solar eclipse. The solar eclipse will pass through this band here, the complete solar eclipse will pass through this band here. In this band, you will the moon will completely cover the sun. And that's going to be quite a spectacle for those people in that band. However, us down in Alabama, being down south of the, of the uh, total uh, eclipse, we're going to get a partial eclipse. In our area down here, we're going to get about, about 87 to 89% coverage. And it'll look something like this for us down here. And that'll all happen on Monday. So this is the timeline here. As you can see, the moon will start covering the sun at around 12 o'clock, around noon time. And at about 1.37, we'll get, we'll get as much coverage as we will get down here. And that's going to be about, like I said, 87 to 89%, maybe 90%. And then it will move away. And by 3 o'clock, the moon will move out of the sun's uh, area. OK? So again, this is a safety brief. And please remember that safety starts with you. OK, let's talk about safety. So it might be fun and it might be exhilarating to watch the sun with your naked eye. You know, and it, it might be wonderful. However, there's a lot of safety concerns here. The first and foremost safety concern is that you might get a sunburn on your eye. And this is known as a solar keratitis. And just like any sunburn, uh, while your eye is burning, while your cornea specifically is burning, you're not going to feel it very much. However, about three, four, five, six hours later, your eyes are going to start burning a lot. And you're going to be tearing, you're going to be tearing, and you're going to be really uncomfortable. So that's a basic um, sun a sunburn of the eye. Um, and like most sunburns, that will resolve itself in six, uh, five, six days, although it will be, be really painful in the meantime. Okay? That's the less serious of the injuries you can uh, incur. The more serious injury is that the sun actually burns right through the eye and burns up your retina. This is known as solar retinopathy. Okay? So this is a normal retina, and if you can see there, there's a tiny little yellow spot right in the middle. That's because the sun, when it goes into the eye, it focuses right on the macula, the fovea of the eye, and it burns a hole right through it. And this is a cross section, and you can see that black spot in the middle. That there is the hole in your eye. Uh, when that happens, you basically have lost uh, vision permanently for your life. Um, that's not a fun experience. I've seen many soldiers in my, uh, in my practice that have had this issue. And if you want, I can give you some names so you can talk to them to see how that feels like, what that feels like. OK, so with that said, how do we view the solar eclipse safely this year, this Monday? The most and safest thing we can do is just watch, watch it on TV. OK, everyone's going to be recording this thing. It'll be all over YouTube. It'll be all over the news. When you watch TV, you have no, there's no danger to your eyes specifically. So that's the safest method. However, that's not the most exciting. That's definitely not the most exhilarating way to, to do it. The other way to do it is to view the eclipse using what we call a pinhole projection. Okay? This is when you get two pieces of paper, or any material for that matter, and you pop a pinhole in one, and then you use the other as the projection. And the light from the sun will go through the pinhole, project itself on the back card, and you can watch the eclipse on the card over here. Remember, look at the card, not the sun. Okay? That's a pinhole projection. A very common way to do this is to use paper plates. Again, you can use two paper plates, you can pop a pinhole in one and use the other paper plate as a projector. You can vary the distance between the two paper plates and get your best focus that way. And this is what it will look like. And you can actually see the moon moving across to cover the sun over time. Again, there are many videos of this on YouTube. Um, you can watch it all you want to, to figure out how to do it. Uh, the other option to do, I think it's very interesting, is to use a cardboard box. Uh, you put a cardboard box over your head, you look kind of silly, but you put the pinhole on this side, the sun will project through the cardboard box, and you'll, get a, you'll view it on this side. Okay? And again, that's a very nice way to watch the, the eclipse. Okay. And the last way to do it is to use ISO-approved glasses. Okay? These glasses will protect uh, your eyes because they, they cover all the UV, all the UV radiation, and all the near-infrared radiation. Um, just remember to keep the glasses on the entire time that you're watching the eclipse. Because um, even at its full, even when it's uh, mostly covered and the sky is mostly dark, there's still all the UV. The UV is still present. So please make sure you keep it on the entire time. 
Now, with that said, I need to warn you that there are a lot of, uh, while there are ISO approved glasses, there are also many, many fakes going around. Uh, there have been many reports of many fake glasses, and the fake glasses are really nothing more than just a cheap pair of sunglasses. And in that case, these glasses, these glasses will actually make things even worse because they dilate your pupils, more light gets into the eye, and you actually end up with more damage. So don't wear these cheap glasses, okay? Uh, don't be a fool. All right, with that said, um, there's a lot more information on the NASA webpage. So go to the NASA webpage, nasa.gov, or you can see it here, eclipse2017.nasa.gov slash safety. And they have all, everything you need to know about this upcoming eclipse. So in conclusion, please enjoy this uh, wonderful solar eclipse that's going to happen on Monday. But always remember that safety starts with you. That's it. <laughs>